a pot. 86 copper. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I smashed every single pot in the entire world. Well, we're not going to find out because that's a silly idea. But instead, I'm going to show you guys loot from every single chest in a Terraria world. So unlike games like Minecraft, Terraria is a finite world, which means you can analyze your world data to find out how many chests are in your world, as well as what the contents are of every chest. It would have taken like a million years to do this manually, so I did some spreadsheet magic and managed to sort the data of every chest into a neat little table, which made this video possible. Okay, so to do this, I opened up T-Edit and analyzed my world, which gave me this information. I copied all of this info and then put it into an Excel spreadsheet. Now, it did take me like an hour to do this, so I'm not gonna go into all of the detail, but I basically just pressed some buttons, did a few magic spells. Yeah. Oh wait, that didn't work, whoops. Delete all the bad data. Then I did some sorting like this. Very simple, just delete all the zeros. And before you know it, I had a table that looked like this. A nice neat list of every single item you can expect from every single chest. Now I put this into a pivot table and that gave me this, which is a list of every item summed up. So for example, we have seven aglets, 14 angel statues, 300 bombs. So now we can get this list and put it into the actual game. So here we go, guys. This is what you can expect to get if you loot every single chest in a large Terraria world. I am using stacking mods because it makes it easier to see all of the items in one go. We'll start with a fun fact. There were 33,382 items as well as 515 chests. So let's look at the bars and miscellaneous items. We got 50 copper bars all the way up to 600 platinum, as well as a few keys, 66 suspicious looking eyes, 289 gold, as well as 3000 silver, and a lot of various tortures, such as 2600 tortures, 3900 rope, a few living mahogany ones, and some solar tablet fragments and power cells. So let's move on to the accessories. These are all of the accessories you can find with the Hermes boots, the cloud in a bottle, the band of regenerations being the most common, as well as the magic mirrors, and we only got one lucky horseshoe. That kind of shows that in some worlds you may not get one of every item. I don't know what items are missing, but I know for a fact the flower boots are not there, so they simply did not spawn in this world. Only one radar, so it kind of shows if you get unlucky with world gen, you can be missing some items so you may have to generate several worlds. We did get the pet turtle though, so it's not all bad, as well as the pet penguin. So that's some good stuff right there. We got one fiberglass fishing rod, and the rest is pretty standard, you know, three cobalt shields, three shiny red balloons, 10 flippers, 18 extractinators, as well as the furniture, placeable. And yeah, it's a, it's a nice assortment of accessories. I mean, check that out, 10 feral claws. Why would we need that many? That's ridiculous. As well as 31 shoe spikes. That is mad. So now let's look at the weapons. We got three yo-yos, 11 snowball cannons, 10 tridents, only one marumazu. So again, if you're unlucky, you may not get one. 38 enchanted boomerangs. That's a phenomenal amount of boomerangs. As well as the four godly chest weapons. We have the scourge of the corruptor, the piranha gun, the rainbow gun, and the staff of the Frost Hydra. The best weapon of them all, the Wand of Sparking. We got five of them, so don't worry. It's not all bad. I think it's pretty good actually for the weapons. You only get a few of most of the weapons, except the Will Gen must have been drunk for the Flare and Enchanted Boomerang because we got over 70 of them combined. Now let's look at the final chest, which is the potions and ranged items. We only got a single heart rate potion, but we did get nearly a thousand healing potions, nearly a stack of thorns potions, swiftness potions, teleportation potions, 53 gravitation potions, 420 recall potions. That pretty much makes the magic mirror redundant since there's so many of them. 18 mining potions, 30 hunter potions, and you can take a look at all of these for yourself. I will put a link in the description with a picture of all four if you want to check this out in picture form. 
And we have 3,000, I think that's the most impressive actually, 3,200 Jester's Arrows. I did not think you would get that many from looting chests. I thought it would have been more like a couple hundred, but no, 3,200, that is a massive amount. You do seem to get quite a lot of arrows. You get nearly 10,000 arrows combined, which is good. And now it's time for the best part of the video. We're going to sell every single item and we're going to see what the value is of every single item in the Terraria Large world. So let's loot everything, let's speed up the video and let's see what we get. Thirteen platinum, that is pretty good. So that wraps up today's episode of Loot From. If you want to see more awesome videos like this, then be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments if you want to see Loot From every pot in Terraria. It will be a bit more difficult to do, but I will do it if you guys want to see it. You can always subscribe for more awesome Terraria videos. And yeah guys, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys later.